Welcome to the second episode of the Success Through Failure Weekly Roundup. I'm here with my man, Connor Lepressi. How you doing, Connor? Good, good, Jim. Good to be right. here. Good to have you. Let's do this. So I'm not going to waste any time. Uh, we know we're talking with a lot of great clients of yours. Uh, Want to know what's the biggest takeaway that you've had in the past week? You know, I was talking to a guy yesterday and he was talking about the outcomes that he wants in his life. And I told him, and I tell this to young wrestlers that I'm coaching. And when I say young, I mean college guys too. Uh, you can't control winning. You can't control winning. You can control what time you go to bed, the kind of food you put in your body. You can control rehabbing your injuries, how much time you spend watching video. You can control your mindset. You can control the words that you say, the words that come out of your mouth. You can control all of these things, but you can't control the outcome. So focus on the process, not the outcome. And that was a huge takeaway for him. Yeah, it sounds great. Um, so moving on, what's a uh, question? A lot of thoughts are getting thrown around right now um, with what's happening in the world. So what's a, a question that you've been having recently? Uh, white privilege. My white privilege, you know, kind of not yeah. knowing the water that I'm swimming in, kind of realizing that, that uh, you know, um, if my skin color was different and uh, I went walking down the, the street of my own neighborhood, um, I might feel a little bit different. And, and that's, a, that's a reality check for me. And, and um, it's something I'm really pondering and talking over with my kids and, and um, just trying to, to, to make that, that conversation part of, um, part of the fabric of, of my family and so they can understand um, yeah. just, just the world uh, as, as we're all kind of coming under, understand it, hopefully at, at a deeper level right now. Well, that's definitely a good thing to be aware of and you know, great to you know, even admit it and try to work it into you know, your day-to-day, -day, like you said. Uh, so uh, on, a, on a lighter note, uh, what's something that you're, you're loving right now? What's something that's kind of just like filling you with life uh, that's been hitting you recently? All right. Every day I listen. I listen to a couple podcasts in the morning, just some short news podcasts. And uh, of course, listen to podcasts all the time. I'm a podcaster. But I, I've always used iTunes on my iPhone. I found the Google podcast app recently and it's like so much more intuitive. I just love it. It's so much easier. It's easier to put a bunch of podcasts in a queue. It's easier to listen to them on 1.2 or 1.5 speed or different features. It's, it's just simpler and more intuitive and seems to be a lot faster than iTunes. So uh, Google podcast app. So whenever you download it for the listener or, what, or viewer, make sure you su subscribe to the success you tell your podcast immediately. <laughs> Uh, how about you, Connor? I mean, you were uh, you had the uh, science of happiness you talked about last week. Uh, what's going on in your world that you can bring to us? Yeah, well, I'm still enrolled, uh, which is great. Um, we just worked through a concept that I'm really just loving right now, um, and that's where we are twice as likely to be happier, or we're twice as happier if we spend twenty dollars on somebody else versus if we go out and spend those twenty dollars on ourselves. Um, and even more interestingly is that we, people who did that predicted that they were going to be far happier spending it on themselves um, and than they did spending it on others and they were just plain wrong. Wow. So, you know, so cool. uh, yeah, on that note, Jim, if you, I like Starbucks, um, you know, just as a, as a note, if you're feeling up, you know, being hey, happier. Well, well, that will make me feel so good. So. <laughs> It's, I'm just looking out for you. Uh, I appreciate that. Yeah, so moving on, we know you had a, a lot of great episodes being put out late, lately on the Success Through Failure podcast. So uh, give us some of the big takeaways that have been standing out. Uh, you know, this last week I published episode 250, which is pretty wild to think about. Uh, but it was about public speaking. It was about my journey of fear and failure through my, my journey of becoming a professional public speaker and kind of how you can too, how you can move through that and, and fail less than I did, but failure is certainly a necessary step on the path to success, as I'm, I'm known to say. And, um, but anyway, we're all going to be, we're all public speakers. We're all going to get pressed into service at some point, whether it's at work or a wedding or a funeral or any or eulogy or anything like that. We're all going to have to develop this skill and use this skill. So check out episode 250. Sweet. All right. Well, look into the future. What about next week? What do we yeah. got to look forward to? Next week, Jim Hensel. He is the, uh, the, the mindset coach for, I think it's eight-time world champion CrossFitter, Rich Froning. Uh, who, Rich Froning is also like the world's fittest man, I think, four years in a row. First person to ever do it four years in a row. But this is the mindset coach for guys like him and guys like Michael Chandler, world champion MMA fighter. Um, but he talks about one concept. I'll give you one concept that he, he shares. And check this out on episode okay. uh, 251 on Monday. So he talks about 
feel, uh, feel, filter, think, flow. Feel, filter, think, flow. And feel means like um, whenever you're in a scenario, like what are you feeling? Like catch yourself. Instead of just reacting or, or responding, you want to catch yourself in the moment. Feel. What are you feeling, right? I'm feeling fear. I'm feeling anxiety. I'm feeling excitement. I'm feeling uh, frustration, right? Filter. Put it through your filter of your core values and what's important to you. Then think, like actually consciously think instead of unconsciously responding and then flow. That means follow through and do uh, you know, what you're thinking about as opposed to what you might have just inst instantaneously and, and spontaneously uh, reacted to, which may not be the best response or reaction. Anyway, that's episode yeah. 251 coming to you on Monday. That sounds cool, man. I mean, everybody wants to get to that state of flow of, of working, but you know, I didn't even know that there were three steps before even getting there. So yeah, definitely yeah. Gonna have to check that out. If you're watching on YouTube, you can like and subscribe here, make a comment below. Uh, if you're watching this on social media, same thing, make a comment, give it a like, and, uh, and we'd love to hear your feedback. So make a comment, uh, shoot us a, shoot me an email, jim at jimharshawjr.com, or uh, you can reach out to me on any social media channel. But Connor, good work again this week. Thanks everybody for tuning in.